help me. I have the power to reward you beyond your dreams. How you have fallen from heaven, O oh Lucifer, son of the morning. Yet now you are brought down to the lowest depths of the pit. Why did he do this? He thought he could be like God. here the final battle this was the last battle between God and the forces of darkness and Satan and evil have finally been destroyed forever Satan may be gone but he took the beauty of God's world with him do you not know that God is the Lord of restoring all things look Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them, and be their God. Dear friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Isaac Rai here. Now let me share with you about Christology. Dear friend, Christology is the study of Christ. This is very important doctrine for the Christians. Christology is made of two words that is Christology C-H-R-I-S-T plus L-O-G-Y Theology means study of God Biology means study of life Geology means study of land and when we study about Christ in biblical ways it includes Number one, deity of Jesus. Number two, humanity of Jesus. Number three, personality of Jesus. Number four, historicity of Jesus. And number five, salvic works of Jesus. Dear friend, right now we are studying about, or I am sharing with you about Christ Jesus. Now let's see about four significant aspects of Christian theology. Dear friend, Christology contains four major essential subjects. It looks like the principle of building construction. In order to build the building, it needs four parts. Foundation, cornerstone, pillar and wall and roof. Now let's see about foundation. In the Christology, the doctrine of Trinity can be taken as foundation of a building. When we build the building, we have to spend much time and energy for solid foundation. If foundation is weak, then we cannot build strong building. If we want to build high building, we need deep, wide and strong foundation. Likewise, in order to make strong faith and theology, we need strong doctrine of Trinity. The number two, cornerstone. After the foundation, cornerstone should be placed upon it. Christology is the cornerstone of Christian faith. Upon the cornerstone, one pillar is erected or without the foundation, cornerstone never placed. Jesus is the cornerstone. This is the stone which was set at not a few builders, which is become the head of the corner. Acts chapter 4 verse 11. Therefore, Doctrine of Jesus Christ plays a very important role as a cornerstone. However, 
cornerstone cannot exist without the foundation. Likewise, Jesus cannot exist without the doctrine of Trinity. Number three, pillars. When foundation and cornerstones are established, and then pillars are erected upon them, pillars give support to the walls and roof. The pillars include the following doctrines. Number one, doctrine of human. Number two, doctrine of sin. Number three, doctrine of salvation. Number four, doctrine of church. Number five, doctrine of mythology. Number six, doctrine of eschatology. These doctrines are placed upon the above doctrines, the doctrine of Trinity and doctrine of Christ, because pillars are placed upon the foundation and cornerstone when we build a house. Number four, wall and roof. Walls and roof also play important role in a building. These help to protect the building from rain, cyclone, snow, hailstone, and dew, etc. Christian faith also has some theories which play the role of walls and roof. They are number one, doctrine of worship, number two, doctrine of church growth, number three, doctrine of Christian counseling, number four, doctrine of leadership, number five, doctrine of Christian education, number six, doctrine of youth and children ministry, and number seven, doctrine of Christian music. All these doctrines are like walls and roofs of the building. These walls and roofs protect us from many circumstances. By these doctrines, Christians get comfort, counseling, encouragement, joy, etc. Dear friend, today many churches are lacking in this field. Therefore, they are very weak in the field of foundation, cornerstone and pillar, but they are strong only in the field of roofs. Many Christians come to the church to receive blessing and comfort for their family. But they do not know much about foundation, cornerstone and pillars of Christian theology. They even don't know about the doctrine of Trinity. So when they receive storm in their life, their spiritual house will fall down. For this reason, many churches are following liberalism. Today, about 80% of whole Christian are lacking of the foundation of their faith. As a result, they are going to be liberal. On the other hand, some churches, we call them fundamentals, are strong in foundation and cornerstone, but weak in pillars and roofs. The biblical church should be well balanced in all these four areas, foundation, cornerstone, pillars, and walls and roofs. It is compulsory things to all the churches and their friend. In this study of ours about Christology, I'll be sharing with you about the doctrine of Trinity briefly and doctrine of Christology in detail in coming days. Dear friend, today I just shared with you about the introduction of Christology, under which I shared with you about four significant aspects of Christian theology. So dear friends, thank you for being with us in this study till now. Thank you for being with us throughout this video and be encouraged my friend and God bless you. I'll be bringing more videos similar to this in coming days.